it's a lifelong journey, man. I have had the privilege of being like cared for by nurses and doctors that really know their craft, as well as being cared for by doctors that have never heard of the disease. And they, so it's like I've been through all the extremes and I've dealt with it since I was a kid. And when I was a, when I was a kid, I didn't really talk about it much because most people didn't understand it. And a lot of people around me, like I was the only one that had it. But luckily, my parents were able to get connected with the sickle cell support groups. And I was able to be around other people like me and face a lot of the same struggles that I did. So I feel like that helped me out a lot. And yeah, I, it was, it was hard going through school because sometimes I'd have to miss a day or if I was really sick, it'd be like a month and I'd be in the hospital, man. It was, it was a it was a struggle, but I just mean I had to work twice as hard when I was going through there, and I wasn't able to play sports. Like I I, I used yeah. to I used to play soccer a lot. I, I was in soccer, basketball, and I completely fell out of it when I started same. having a bunch of crisis. Yeah, same dude. I um, still I still try to maintain active like i'm slowly try- starting to get myself back in there dude the it's it's age. difficult man bro i i um i fully empathize with you dude i I know it's everything you're going through and even more because i had i got my doctorate degree in college at with pharmacy and um you know during those times i also had um some sickle cell crises and I, 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 when you say, I like to say warrior because I really feel like a warrior because it's a fight. Those, it's a fight, man. It's a fight. And mm-hmm. I had to, even during those times, you know, I, 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 I could have chose to like take some time and let it, and let it pass. And, or I, I, I can, st- I was studying literally while going through crises. So I yeah. make sure that I <laughs> continue to, um, to, to succeed and get my degree. So even during those tough times, man, like trust me, I I empathize with your pain, and and I know how hard it could be, especially when you don't feel like you know anybody. You know, yo, I, I, I and 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 also with sports too, man. It's been it's been crippling me with my basketball, and um, I actually just interviewed um Billy Garrett. I don't know mm-hmm. if you know who he is. He's the first NBA player with sickle cell disease. And oh yeah, I, I I saw the thumbnail. I haven't had a chance. To yeah, watch it yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Um, yeah, it's super ins- inspirational, bro. But um, for people like me and you, like you know how tough it can be to play sports and how that can be crippling psychologically to see somebody actually make it to the NBA. But Sukosa so, is like, okay, maybe people like us can actually do it, man. So yeah, I I I love it, man. You know, the the, the next question I want to ask you, Chris, is what. What has the most? What has been the most difficult experience you went through, and how did you overcome it? Uh, I'd say like, my first year of college was probably the most difficult for me. Uh, that's because I it's my first time being on my own, and I went out of state. I went to a northern state, and I know for me, cold weather is like one of my major triggers for sickle cell. So. I didn't really know how to deal with that. I was in the hospital like every other month, man. So yeah. and my grades were dropping. So it was like I had to figure out. I, I had to figure out how I was going to navigate that whole situation. Yeah. And what ended up happening is I ended up transferring to a college back to Florida just because I knew for me it'd be easier. Hmm. Bro, uh, dude, when you say cold weather is the trigger, man, bro, cold weather is such a trigger, bro. So yeah. I don't know. I also think I'm African too. So I think I'm used, to, I'm naturally used to the weather. I was born in Nigeria, but I grew up in Boston. I grew up in Boston for 23, 24 years of my life. And one of the main reasons why I left Boston was because, bro, it's, it's just it's just too cold up there, bro. I like, and you're, you said you're from New Jersey, so you know how it is. Then I yes. ended up moving to, from Boston to Philadelphia, hoping that Ooh, it would change. Philly, 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 you know what I'm saying? I was hoping it was gonna change, and like 
yeah, it was like five to six degrees warmer, but it wasn't like that much warmer to make me happier. So I just recently moved down to Atlanta. And right now I'm in Atlanta and I, I'm better. much I'm much happier <laughs> with the change. I'm much happier with the change. I will say though, Atlanta is a lot more colder than than you would expect it to be during like January and February. It's still a lot better than Boston and up north, but you have your surprisingly cold oh, weather. Yeah. 